So the Phantoms' 14 on game uh, win streak has, has come to an end with a home defeat against the Swindon Wildcats and I'm really grateful to to Glenn and Robbie for joining me. So uh, Robbie, would you like to sum it up? I mean, from our point of view, we thought the Phantoms left it all on the ice. Lots of effort ultimately fell short against a, a team that had obviously come to win tonight. Yeah, I think there's a lot of effort again from the guys. Um, I think we're a bit maybe unlucky at times. A couple of chances that in other games have gone in for us haven't gone in tonight and the vice versa for them, their chances did go in and it probably cost us towards the end. Um, I don't think you can argue with how we played, maybe it wasn't our best game ever but against the top side I think we were, we lived with them the whole game and we potentially could have got them earlier chances, maybe it's a different story. But. Glenn, I think that the momentum was with the Phantoms going into the final period, it had been a, a rough third period, there had been three unanswered goals and the Wildcats had stretched their lead and then of course uh, Susters wraps one off the boards, uh, Stepanek finishes and we go into the third period with the tails up but it just wasn't to be, chances at the end of the second, we couldn't put them away and, and they've capitalised. Yeah, I mean that was a, a big goal right in there, um, I think like you said I think both teams had good spells of pressure um, and I think it was just two good teams playing a good hockey game. Um, I think, as Robbie said, I think maybe they buried their chances and we didn't. That's something we can go back and review and things we can correct. And we will we'll do that and we'll come back stronger and uh, we'll bounce back. I, I certainly, th I mean, obviously, you can see the disappointment in your faces. And we have said a terrific result down in Streatham last night. Uh, so I, I wouldn't emphasise being overly distraught about about it of course as, as we talked about just off camera Robbie f for me I thought we were a little uh, off the pace as a defensive unit uh, across the five skaters uh, I think there were one or two that we perhaps uh, could have been tighter for uh, I don't know whether you'd have the same view yeah definitely I think there's two I can think of where maybe we've let our guy go let's give them a chance obviously against the lesser side maybe you get away with it against the top side they're, they're going to score these chances that you give so yeah, there's lessons to be learnt there, um, lessons going forward, but definitely I think we played just as well as they did we, in the game and obviously we, we look forward to the next time we meet them. So. Some good some good sides at the top, isn't there? Swindon ourselves and, and Bratnell for my money are the, are the, are the top three and I, I think, well, whether you'd agree with that? Yeah, I, th I think they're probably up there. I think Basingstoke have looked quite decent as well, um, particularly of late, the last couple of times we've seen them, so they'll get results. So it is tight, it def definitely is tight at the top um, and it's not going to be easy. Um, obviously we're disappointed with the result tonight but then you, you look at our record of late, you, you can't be too disappointed. we, we just got to look how we, we react from this and how we rebound next week. Barely a fag paper between ourselves and Swindon over three games, the draw down there. We've taken one here in the Autumn Cup and they've obviously prevailed tonight. Next week it's Invicta here and on Saturday a tough road game. I think it's the London Raiders next Sunday. Uh, so we look forward to joining you next week. Thanks for joining us tonight. I can sense the disappointment, but uh, it's been a great run. Just time to start that one again now.